Good Friday morning to you, Cross Park. We are looking forward to, it looks like, being together in person this week for those who are able to do so. For those who aren't, of course, we'll continue to send you our digital service, but we're really excited because as you look at the weather, you see that it's not supposed to rain this weekend. Now, you never want to put too much hope in the weather forecast, but I'm excited. After these dreary weeks and after missing three weeks in a row with rain and cold, we're looking to meet together this Sunday. Now, quick logistics note, it may struggle to get to 40 by 11 a.m. So we're going to continue to watch the forecasts and Saturday night, I think we're going to try to let you know ahead of time for sure whether it's 11 or 3.30, but it's supposed to be sunny, not rainy, and warm enough, at least eventually, to get together and enjoy time in the parking lot. Now, I just briefly want to help you think about this. You know, as we talked last Sunday in our sermon about hope, about looking towards the far future of what Jesus is going to do and how that affects us now, I did use a weather analogy that you don't just hope or wish that it won't rain or snow, but you look at a reliable, solid forecast to make your plans. Of course, our forecast for what Jesus will do is even more reliable than any weatherman's forecast. Now, as we wait and hope, we put our trust way out there in what God is going to do, but it affects how we wait now. We wait differently if we know that the future is secure for us. I was looking at Psalm 37 this week. It's a, it's a very well-known psalm. You probably know lots of the phrases, but two things struck me. First, listen to verse 3. Trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and befriend faithfulness. Befriend faithfulness. It's this idea that while we wait, and Psalm 37 is all about waiting. It's about waiting in the midst of pain and difficulty, waiting in the midst of other people mistreating you, waiting in the midst of not having the thing you're waiting for. Yeah, that's the nature of waiting. And while we wait, we do good. We trust God. We, we pursue or befriend faithfulness. We do what God has called us to do, knowing that He will come through. And that's how we wait. It can be frustrating. It can be painful. It can be uncertain. And yet, we wait not because our circumstances are great now, and not even just because our circumstances will change, but we trust in the Lord and wait patiently, which he says later in Psalm 37, that we wait patiently and we do good even while we wait. We befriend faithfulness because we're so confident that God is worth trusting and that God will come through. So I want to encourage you, whether it's waiting for Sunday, waiting for that thing that God needs to do in your life, or whether it's waiting for the hope of heaven and your future inheritance, that we wait patiently, and while we do, we trust God, and we do good, and we befriend faithfulness. We make faithfulness our closest companion, so to speak. We do exactly what God has asked us to do, even if it's hard, knowing that He wants to be with us all along. Well, Cross Park, thank you for your time this morning. Looking forward one way or another to seeing you on Sunday. Take care.